Alicia Keys is a legendary figure within the music industry, with 15 Grammy Awards under her belt and a list of impressive collaborations with artists like Eminem, Drake and Jack White are just a few of her accomplishments. Her establishment is so solid that she was even invited to host the Grammy Awards in the year 2020. Her career is nothing short of amazing, however, she found love in the most unlikely individual that has been part of her life since the days of her past, American producer and DJ Swiss Beats. Their story is full of drama, healing and persevering love. Greetings, salutations and welcome to our channel. Today we're here to cover the real reason as to why Swiss Beats married Alicia Keys. As always, before we begin, make sure to press that like button and subscribe to our channel to support us so that we can bring you more quality stories like this. Also, if you don't want to miss a single one of our uploads, press the bell notification and turn on YouTube notifications on your smartphone. Without further ado, let us dive right into the video. Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats first met at a time period when she was 16 and he was 17. They essentially met as teenagers in the 90s. The two met through a mutual friend that happened to attend the same school as their producer. It was also the time when Alicia was just about to kickstart her iconic career. However, Alicia Keys did not think much of him during this time. She spoke to Mary Claire UK in 2013 and told them, Honestly, I don't really like him that much. I thought he was too ostentatious. Swiss will have the fastest car, the biggest jewelry, the loudest jacket. Everything with his is really over the top. I used to see him and think, man, he's so annoying. A few years passed and the two found that their paths crossed once more. This time, Alicia Keys was slowly starting to see something in Swiss Beats. However, one big pillar was standing in the way of the two, and it was the daunting fact that Swiss Beats was married to someone else at the time. Swiss and his wife at the time, Mashonda Taifari, reportedly started dating in the year 1998. In the year 2000, Mashonda was found to be pregnant, and their first pregnancy ended up being a stillbirth. However, at that same year, Swiss ended up having a child enter his life, and the source surprised many at the time. Swiss welcomed his son, Prince Nazir, who was the result of a relationship that Swiss had kept on the side with a woman named Nicole Levy. Even with Swiss Beats showcasing signs of infidelity, Swiss Beats and Mashonda's relationship continued, as they ended up getting married in 2004. In 2006, Swiss and Mashonda even welcomed a child of their own into the world under the name Kazim Dean Jr. The rumors claimed that their relationship between Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys came to life in the year 2008. However, it was not the best kind, due to him still being married to Mashonda at the time. Swiss Beats reportedly claimed that they were still separated at the time, but Mashonda had a different story to tell, as she went on a lengthy post on Twitter. According to a report from Vibe, it follows, My concern with Alicia Keys is no longer the fact that she is associated in destroying my family, but that she has the audacity to make these selfish comments about love and wanting to be with someone, even after knowing their situation. I feel that after one and a half years of you hiding this affair and acting like it doesn't exist, then now is the time to confront it. Since you talk so openly about it now, you have no idea how much pain it has caused because of this affair. Due to all of this, it was understandable as to why Swiss and Alicia kept quiet about their romance. However, that quietness did not last long, as Swiss Beats decided to hop onto the remix of Drake's Best I Ever Had. In the lyrics, he goes to rap, Wake up in the morning and my baby cooked me breakfast. A is naked wearing nothing but a necklace. Safe to say that many managed to figure out exactly who A was in this scenario. He eventually spoke with New York Daily News and claimed that the lyrics were fictional, but eventually he ended up confessing that Alicia was the woman that he in fact had his eyes on all this time. He went on revealing that the only reason why he kept their relationship a secret from the public is because he did not want to anger Mashonda, the very woman that he was married to. Of course, from this point onwards, Mashonda and Swiss moved forward to settle things. In April 2008, Mashonda and Swiss went ahead and got divorced. However, that was not the end of it. It was later revealed that he was having an affair with a Russian-born singer, Jana Sebastian, and he even fathered a daughter named Nicole as well. Talk about mastering infidelity. However, they could not fully affirm the paternity of Nicole, as this caused Swiss Beats and Alicia to move on and finally make things official between each other. May 2010 marked a special time in the life of Alicia and Swiss and they revealed to the world that they were engaged and that she was expecting his child as well. Just two months later, they even got married in a private ceremony in Corsica. That following October, the newlyweds even welcomed their first child together, named Genesis Ali. Of course, even before the couple could spend their one-year anniversary together, Swiss and Alicia flew back to the UK in order to take a paternity test to see if the alleged child he had with singer Janice Sebastian was really his. 
After the test, it was definitely proved that Swiss was indeed the father of Nicole, who was three years old at the time. Even with all the controversial findings and Swiss's messy past, well, the two continued to live their life with wedded bliss, as Alicia gave birth to Swiss's fifth child in 2014, a boy who was aptly named Egypt Daoud. As Alicia and Swiss celebrated their 8 year anniversary, Swiss once said that the key to their happy marriage is that they never argued. He claimed that they do not even raise their voices at one another. He went on to say that in the way he is weak, Alicia was strong, and that they fitted together perfectly, and his relationship with Alicia Keys was a blessing. He claimed that their union was connected spiritually, and what they have together is so much stronger than what others would call love. It was something so much more amazing that he could not verbally describe it. He ended by claiming that at the end of the day, Alicia makes him a better man. Of course, with how deep in love the two of them are with one another, sometimes Swiss has a hard time saying just how much he loves Alicia. However, he does his best to show her exactly how much he loves her. During an interview with Wendy Williams, Alicia claimed that one of her favorite gifts that Swiss had ever given to her was a tattoo of her face on his body. Of course, with such a large family coming from Swiss's side, it is safe to say that relations were rocky at the start. However, things are much calmer between the pair and Swizz's first wife, Mishonda, now. When Mishonda published a book titled Blend, Alicia and Swizz played an integral part when it came to helping her promote it among the masses. The three even sat down with ABC's Nightlife in order to discuss how they overcame the struggles of a tough past in order to create a good family environment for their family. Mishonda went ahead to say it wasn't easy, it was a roller coaster ride, a lot of prayer, a lot of meditation. However, all that hard work seemed to pay off, as Alicia herself claims that her and Mishonda were now closer than ever. Alicia went ahead and spoke her own perspective on how things were now. We love each other, we hang out with each other, we go to dinner together, our family is one big beautiful family. It's a beautiful partnership. I'm very, very proud of that. It's a real thing, and it's possible. Today, Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats are shown to be in a position where they support one another both emotionally and professionally. This ranges from defending one another from invasive internet trolls that try to make a mockery out of them, to Swiss Beats cheering his beloved wife on as she hosts music's biggest night. With such a strained past, it would have been a safe bet for many to claim that Swiss Beats would have never found love, but he did in the arms of a woman that he fell in love with at a very young age as well. While he did spend most of his years in a rather misguided manner, it is a happy sight to see that he has finally found serenity with the woman of his dreams. We can only now hope that the couple continues to shine on with the world that they have built for one another, and with the family that they have to share said world with. It is safe to say that Alicia Keys is a strong woman amongst all of this. After all, it takes a lot to accept the one you love when it comes with a lot of baggage from the past. Not just that, she had to come into terms with the fact that a woman from her husband's past has to become a constant in their lives for the betterment of their lives of all their children. All in all, we are happy to see that the trio are now in a position to ensure that all of their children end up growing happily together in one big loving family. We've now reached the end of today's video. Did you like that story? For more interesting coverage just like this, subscribe to our channel and press that bell button to get an update every single time we upload a new video. Make sure to like this video and share it with your family and friends. Thanks for watching and see you next time.